Bike accidents are rising worldwide, especially in Indonesia. And one major cause is pure communication between cyclists and drivers on the road. Hand signals are unreliable, and standard bike lights don't clearly show a rider's intentions. The MindSafe Smart Helmet solves this by integrating multiple safety features at a reasonable price, encouraging more people to bike and help reduce pollution. Hello, my name is Kenzo Christian Simpson, and I will be explaining the brief scientific background of the MindSafe Helmet. So, urban cyclists are highly vulnerable to traumatic brain injuries from collisions and falls. Conventional helmets protect riders by spreading impact through a hard outer shell and softening blows with an energy absorbing liner. But they only work after a crash occurs. Recent advances in biomechanics and wearable tech shows that sensors, connectivity, and active lighting can help prevent accidents in the first place. MindSafe applies these innovations by combining material science with cognitive systems to avoid crashes on the road and increase urban rider awareness. My name is Jansen Thu, and I'll be explaining the circuit of the smart helmet and the remote. This is the circuit of the smart helmet. It uses an ESP32 microcontroller due to its small size and wireless capabilities. The inputs are the power source, which uses two 18650 batteries, a Neo 6M GPS module, a button for the SOS function, a SIM 900A module to send messages, and a signal from the transmitter of the remote. The outputs of the circuit are the two LED light strips for the turn signals and the SOS message to local emergency services sent by the same 900A module. This is the circuit for the remote that controls the helmet's turn signals. It runs on an ESP32 microcontroller, which are powered by two 18650 batteries, and there will be also a three-way switch that is used to activate the left and right signals. The ESP32 transmitter then sends the command wirelessly to the helmet's ESP32 receiver. Hello, my name is Ezekiel Revel Sarmiento and I will be presenting the research results of the MindSafe Smart Helmet. The MindSafe Smart Helmet is made up of three main layers, a shell, an impact absorbent layer, and a padding. The outer shell is made from fiberglass, a material that is durable and customizable, but it also comes at a higher cost. To improve ventilation, the shell also features air holes that will allow airflow to the wearer's head so the wearer does not get a headache due to the heat. The impact absorbent layer is made from styrofoam beads which are very shock absorbent, cheap, and can be customized based on the wearer's head size. Finally, the inner padding is made from recycled padding and covered with mesh fabric, providing both comfort and breathability during use. The helmet's features include SOS, GPS, and turn signals. So, in the event of an emergency while on the road, the SOS feature lets the wearer call the local emergency services, making it easier to get help quickly and efficiently. The GPS function allows the wearer to share their real-time location. The final feature, the turn signals, are basically similar to the turn signals you would find on a car, but in this case, they are controlled by a button on the bike and displayed through the LEDs installed into the helmet. So, in conclusion, our MindSafe Smart Helmet is designed with the additional materials and features implemented into the helmet because of one common goal, the safety of the cyclist on the road. Now, I will be talking about the impacts and limitations of the MindSafe Helmet. So the MindSafe Helmet is a smart helmet which improves safety in three ways. One, it has strong materials for impact protection. Two, it has smart sensors that send SOS signals uh, to alert and speed up emergency responses. And three, it has built-in lights and GPS for better visibility and hands-free navigation. The helmet is also waterproof, making it practical for urban riders in different weather conditions. However, electronic components can be vulnerable to long-term damage after multiple impacts, which may re affect reliability. Future work will focus on strengthening these components and testing durability under repeated real-world conditions to ensure consistent performance. Thank you.